No friends? Let's talk about the pros and cons of friendships. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Last Friday, I did a video titled, I Have No Friends. And from that video, I created a series all about friendships. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, there will be, I think, seven different videos each day for the next seven days pertaining to friendships. But in today's video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of friendships because they both exist. So one of the pros is emotional support. Friends can offer emotional support to you in a time of need. They're there to lean on. They're there to listen. And that's really important. I know I have talked with people that I consider friends that have really helped me. So that's a good one to have. Shared experiences. You can build and create so many memories with a friend. Something that just the two of you share or experienced in life. And creating those memories are something that live on with you forever in your heart. You learn from each other. So having those shared experiences is really a great thing. Improved mental health. Friends can help you to feel less lonely or depressed because you have someone to talk to. They can help with your overall well-being. I know that has worked in my life in the past, and it probably has for you too encouragement. That is one of the best things to have in a friendship. Someone that will help you achieve your goals. Someone that will encourage you to try new things and praise you when you accomplish them. I know there are many things in life that we have insecurities about or we don't feel like we can do. And when you get a good friend who really believes in you and encourages you, you will be amazed at how it can change your whole mindset. A sense of belonging. Sometimes having friends gives you that feeling that you belong. It, you feel like a, a community in some ways. And that's important to many of us. None of us want to be somewhere where we don't belong. And you can feel it when someone is letting you know you don't belong there. But a friend that lets you know that you do belong goes a long way. A support system. Having friends that are there for you when you're in a crisis or a time of need. They're there to listen. They'll offer advice if you need it. They'll refrain if you tell them you don't want advice. And they can provide resources that may help you get through whatever you're going through. So that kind of support is definitely a pro from a friend. Fun and laughter. Have you ever had a friend that you just laugh the whole time you're together? You have so much fun, and no matter how lousy of a day you have been having, when that friend comes over or calls you, your whole day changes, your whole mindset changes. You just start laughing and talking about fun things, and you no longer even think of that lousy day. 
And the last pro I'll talk about is confidence boosting. A good friend can really boost your confidence. They encourage you. They validate you. They validate how you feel. And they're there to listen and support you in your feelings. I think it's fantastic and very much a gift when you have a friend who boosts your confidence. Now let's talk about the cons of friendship. And yes, there can be many. One of them is fights, disagreements, and misunderstandings. To me, if you're really good friends, you talk through things. You work it out because you know each other. You know each other's heart. But a lot of friendships aren't like that. And they can get petty and argumentative. And it can just get so messy. I don't like that at all. And that is a definite con. Another con would be time. It's hard to find the time sometimes to spend with your friends. People are busy. You have different schedules. You do different things. One may work. One may not work. And so to invest time in a friendship can present challenges. And maybe you're the one investing the time and the other person isn't, or vice versa. So that can usually end a friendship or cause a friendship to just go by the wayside. Emotional dependency. Some friendships can lean on emotional dependency, where one friend just always has a problem, always needs your time, always wants you to be available. It's like they can't do anything or make any decisions without you. And that can really put a burden on the friendship because you can't always be available. And many friendships fall apart because of emotional dependence. Oh, here's a good one. Jealousy and competition. Oh my goodness. Have you ever been in a friendship where you know, you can tell it's so obvious the person is jealous and they're very competitive. Maybe it's because they see you as more successful than they are or that you look nicer than they do, or whatever it is. But that is no friendship. Don't ever be involved in a friendship where there is jealousy and competition. It will just bring you down, tear you up, and waste your time. Don't even go there. Social obligations. Sometimes when you have friends, they expect you to go to certain events or gatherings with them. They expect your presence to be there. Well, you may not be interested in what they're doing or where they're going, and you don't want to go. That can create a lot of conflict, but none of us should do something that we don't want to do. And so if you don't have the type of friend that really knows you and you can share with them that you're not interested in doing that, it can turn really ugly. So that's a big one. This is probably the biggest con of friendships, and that is betrayal and trust. If you have a friend that betrays you, I promise you, you will never be able to forget it. It is so painful, such a deep hurt. When you're with someone that you can't trust, that you want to tell your deep, dark secrets to, or have a conversation about something that you don't choose to be out there or shared with anyone else, 
my goodness, when that person betrays your trust, that's that's just a, a done deal. You can never go back. Don't even try. When they show you who they are the first time, believe them and walk away. And the last one I'll talk about is, I guess, drifting. Friendships drifting away. That can be caused by many things. You've either grown apart, one of you have new and different interests, and the other one is not interested in it at all. Maybe you've moved away. Maybe your life situation has changed. There are many reasons why friends drift apart, and it can be very painful if you're the one that is left behind. It's not intentional. It's just life circumstances. Life changes for all of us. We all go through different seasons, but it can be hard to lose a friend just because you have drifted apart. Friends can be a valuable and vital part of life. It can come with numerous benefits, but as you can see, friendships can also come with numerous challenges. You really have to weigh out the pros and cons and decide what's best for you, what works for you. Sometimes people just don't even want to get involved. They'd rather not have any friends because of all this, because of the conflicts. Maybe the cons far outweigh the pros, so you don't even go there. Or you may only have one or two friends, but you have to be very selective. I would love to know from you in the comments section if you have experienced any of these pros or cons, or if you can think of another pro or another con that could help all of us. We need to understand all the complexities of friendships before we open our heart and get involved. So let's just all try to help each other. Well, that's all I have for you in this video, but tomorrow will be another part of this friendship series. Now I'm going to leave you with an inside beauty tip. My inside beauty tip comes from Proverbs 12:26. The righteous choose their friends carefully, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. This really emphasizes the importance of using discernment and wisdom when you're choosing your friends. You have to be very selective. You want people that share your beliefs and your character and your moral compass and things like that because you can be led astray so easily if you aren't careful you could be badly influenced by a friend that you end up making bad decisions and you lose your moral compass some friends can even tear you away from your family, and nobody wants that. So it is critically important to be very selective when you're choosing a friend. Realize that they will have a seat at your table. They will be close to you. You can't afford to lose your moral compass. You can't afford to take a chance and have anything pull you away from your beliefs or your faith. I thank you so much for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, which will be tomorrow, this is the old girl signing out. See ya.